Visual CGI is a new way for creating procedural architecture using City Engine. It allows you to create procedural buildings without any coding but with a visual editor instead. In this video introduction, we demonstrate how to create a realistic building using the Visual CGI editor. In a newly opened City Engine, go to Window, Layout, Rule Programming Layout. This makes sure that the layout of your City Engine is the same as we use in the video. Before we start, make sure that you have downloaded the examples that we need for this introduction. To do so, go to the Navigator, right click, Import, Examples and Tutorials, Then select the complete street example and the VCGI playground example and click finish. City Engine is now downloading the examples which can take a few minutes. Now make sure that you also have the newest version of Esrilib. Go to File, Manage Esrilib, select only Esrilib and then click Update. Now that we have everything ready, we can start creating our VCGI design. In the navigator, go to the example VCGI playground and open the scene video introduction. Confirm that you want to regenerate all the models. This can take up to a few minutes. After the scene has been generated, identify the building that we are going to rebuild. Click the building to select it and then go to Shapes, Delete Models to delete the model. So now we have an empty parcel on which we are going to reconstruct our building using VCGA. In the navigator, open the folder Example VCGA Playground Rules, VCGI Designs, Video Introduction, right click on the folder name Video Introduction, go to New and select New Visual CGI Design. Call this design the Video Introduction Building VCGI. And click Finish. Now on the left you see the VCGA editor that we are going to use to reconstruct our building. First we will add a node that creates a mass model. We take a node from the mass model collection from Esrilib. In this overview you see all mass model types currently available in Esrilib. We decide to go for a combination of a slab and a tower. To add the mass model component, do a right click, add node, click on library, which represents components from Esrilib, then click on massing, go to slab block and take slab and tower. Now connect the node to the initial shapes. Next, go to the navigator, go to the folder video introduction, go to video introduction building and drag it onto our parcel. You see that it builds the mass model that we just added to the design. Whenever a VCGA is edited, it gets saved automatically and the models on all selected shapes get updated automatically as well. As the next step, we need to split our mass models into individual floors. For this, we add a floor splitter component. Right click, add node, go to custom, 
This is because our floor splitter is not part of SRLib, but part of our project. So we, instead of using library, we use custom, go to components, floor splitter, and take the floor splitter one tier. Now connect the floor splitter to the slab mass extension point and to the tower mass extension point. In order to see the splitted floors a bit better, we enable the wireframe on shaded and textured shapes. So now you clearly see the splitted floors. Finally, we want to adjust our floor heights. For the ground floor, we want to have a height of 4 meters. For the other floors, we want to have a height of 3 meters and we want that our floors are exactly 4 and 3 meters high. So we enable the exact floor height attribute. To make our building look more realistic and nicer, we are going to add some facades now. We will also add a roof in this step. The facades and the roofs are VCGI components themselves. They can be found in the components directory right next to our video introduction building VCGI. The video introduction building is here. And here is the folder with the components that we are going to use. These components were specifically designed for this building, but they could be reused on any other building as well. To add the facade components to the design, do a right click, add node, go to custom, because those components are part of the current project and not of SRLib. Then go to VCGI designs, video introduction, components and select facade ground floor. Connect the component to the ground floor mass extension point of the floor splitter. Now you see that our building has a facade on the ground floor. Next, add a facade as well for the upper floors. Connect it to the regular floor mass extension point as well as to the top floor mass extension point. At this point, we can also disable the wireframe again to make the facade look nicer. Finally, we also add the roof. The roof is connected to the roof plate extension point of the floor splitter. The VCGA Playground offers a large collection of different facades that you can also use on your own building designs. The facades can be found by doing a right click, add node, select custom because the facades are part of the VCGA Playground project and not of Ezreli, then go to VCGA design and select facades. Next, we will add photovoltaic panels and some green space to our building. To add the photovoltaic panels, right click, add node, go to custom, because those are also part of our project and not of SRLib, select components, elements, photovoltaic panels. Connect the panels to the roof plate of the floor splitter. For the green space, do a right click, add node, custom, components, exterior, exterior green space. Connect this to the yard extension point of the slab and tower. We do not want to have any people in the scene, so we set the people percentage to zero. 
and we want the trees to look realistic, so we set the tree representation to realistic. We are now going to do some fine tuning on the building masses. First, we add a setback component to move the buildings a bit away from the street. Right click, add node, go to library, side partitioning, setback and then select setback. The extension point buildable area represents the area within the setbacks. That's where we want to place our buildings. Now let's enter a few values for the actual setback. We want to have a general setback around the whole parcel of 3 meters. So we enter 3. And additionally we want to have a setback from the building front here of 6 meters. So you see that the building has been set back by 6 meters here along the front and by 3 meters along the rest of the parcel boundary. The setback area around our buildings is still white. So we connect it to our green space component. The setbacks are represented by the all yards extension point that we now connect to the exterior green space component. So far we entered all the values such as the setbacks or the floor heights directly into the respective VCGI components. But you can also edit those values directly from the inspector as you know it already from traditional CGI rules. To expose the attributes of a VCGI component in the inspector, you have to click this small round disk in the title bar of the component. Go to the inspector and you'll see that you now have this setback tab here with all the attributes from the setback component. You can now edit the setbacks directly from the inspector. If you enter a value into a VCJ component, the value belongs to the design and is applied wherever you use the design. If you enter a value into the inspector, this value is only used on the selected parcels. Parcel specific values are printed in bold in the inspector. Finally, we show how you can change the position and the dimensions of the mass models. Click the disk in the title bar of slab and tower to expose the attributes in the inspector. Go to the inspector and open the slab and tower tab where you see the dimensions and the position of the slab and the tower. With this we conclude our VCGI video introduction. We hope that we got you started successfully and that we have enabled you to create many nice building designs. Thanks for watching and thanks for your interest in this powerful new feature.